Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm currently freaking out at my phone right now because the service sucks. I like turn my Wi-Fi on, doesn't work. Turn my Wi-Fi off, it doesn't work. I'm resetting it right now and now it won't turn on. I already had issues with my app store, so today is just already kind of off to a stressful note, but I need to chill out, it's just a phone. Um, but welcome to another vlog. Really quickly, I wanna show you guys my outfit because I'm really proud of it and it's just like, very my vibe, which I'm really impressed with. So hold up. Okay, so we have this really cute nude bodysuit from Forever 21, and then these super cute pants that can either button all the way down or you can unbutton them a little bit and show a little bit of leg, which is super cute to me. And then these shoes are from, where are they from? Miss Lola. So these pants are from a place called Shop Lilyful, which I've only shopped there once, but I've been looking at their stuff and I'm probably gonna make another order and they're like just the cutest. And then this top, like I said, is from Forever 21 and then some jewelry that I have paired with it. But I'll have everything linked down below because I think this is like so perfect for me because I hate wearing shorts, but these are also like super breathable and really thin, so it's like I'm not gonna get too hot. So it's just the perfect combination. Ooh, I'm freezing my butt off, hold up, okay. I need to tell you guys a story about what just happened to me. So, oh my God, I'm literally like <sighs> chattering. It's so cold in my house. So, let me prop this up well. I just got back from going to test drive a car. So yes, I am in the process of trying to find a new car and I had found one that I wanted to go test drive. So I went all by myself to an area called Smyrna, which I've never been there before let alone by myself. So I go in there and nobody happens to be like in the little store, so I just kind of wait there. And this guy walks in and he looks just completely out of his mind, like on something, like maybe just high. But I was like, hi, I'm here to test drive a car. And he was like, let me go get somebody. And I was like, um, <laughs> okay. So I walked out of the store with him because I didn't feel comfortable being in there by myself. And he walks out <clears throat> and then these two, like this girl and guy, walk back over and all of them kind of look like, not spooked, but just kind of like, just, they all had like such a weird vibe. And it's not like I just like randomly popped into this place. Like I had called them beforehand, made sure the car was there and like let them know I was gonna be there. So they should have been prepared, honestly. Well, the girl walks up and she's like in the middle of smoking a cigarette and then like putting her cardigan back on. Like very, very awkward. And she was like, oh hi, you look so pretty. And I was just like, thank you. Like I'm here to test drive the car. And she's like, okay, yeah. And like we walk into the place and she's trying to take a copy of my ID but her copier machine is not working. So she was like, do you mind if I just grab a photo of it? And I was like, that's totally fine you know, whatever, and then she gets a plate and puts it on the car, and I just, just go to test drive it. Well, the entire time, like, from the second I got in the car, I just felt so uncomfortable. Now, I'm probably totally reading into this too far, but I was just extremely uncomfortable and <laughs> literally thought that, like, somebody was in the trunk and was going to, like, abduct me. I'm, like, still paranoid right now, but anyway. So I'm like driving it for like three minutes down the road and I'm like, I can't, I can't test drive this car. For one, it's like, uh, it's not awkward, but it's like nerve wracking enough to drive a car that is not yours. And then me just like being all nervous because of that whole interaction, just being so uncomfortable made it even worse. And so I turned around and I like drove back up in there and I walked inside and I was like, here you go. And she was like, what'd you think? I was like, it was really nice, but I'm just gonna have my dad come back with me because I don't know anything about cars. And I'm really disappointed because I really liked the car. It was really nice and it was driving well from what I had felt with like the five minutes I was in it. But it was just such an uncomfortable situation and now I'm nervous because she has a photo of my ID which has like my full name, my home address, like all this information and I'm just like super uncomfortable about it but I guess even if she scanned it she would have had it that way too. I don't know but just be aware. I don't know. It probably was nothing and they were probably honestly just like on drugs but like I'm not gonna do that. I'm not buying a car from you because that was just like completely unprofessional, you know? And it just like made me so uncomfortable, especially being there alone. <sighs> Whatever, but on a more positive note, I just got a package in the mail that I've been waiting for for like months. So I wanna show you guys what I got. So there are these white and black tank tops from Amazon. 
and they took so long to get here, but they're almost like more of an athletic wear kind of material, but I mean, you can wear them like anywhere for anything. So I got one in white and black, and I'm about to try them on and see how I like them, but first impressions without trying them on, it's like really good material, and I feel like it's gonna be like really supportive because it has like an under bra in it with padding and stuff, which I honestly might take the padding out, but I am impressed so far. So let me try them on and show you guys. Okay, so here's the white one. I will say that I don't love the padding. If you can, I don't know if you can tell you. You can kind of tell. It's like the padding in it is really thick, so it looks like you have a slice of bologna in your shirt, which is just not the look that I'm going for. So I can remove the padding, which I'm going to do. I actually already got makeup on it. Love that, but it's so cute and like so supportive. So love that one. Okay, so I went ahead and took the padding out, and I think it looks a lot better, but I want to show you guys something that I like to do with pretty much everything that I wear. So I just use these guys right here, which I get from Target. They're like these little nipple petals, but they're silicone, and they're super thin. So like I usually wear them with like everything, and typically I can never tell that I have them on. So I'm probably just going to wear those with this just so I don't like nip or anything, but I am obsessed with it. And this is the black one, so I'm really impressed with these. I got a size large, and I'm a 34 C or D if you guys, like, need help with sizing. But I'm really happy with the way they fit. Also, I did say that it's, like, more of a workout material, but I feel like you could dress this up or down and wear this with, like, black jeans to make it a cute outfit or wear it with, like, spandex to go work out. So it's super versatile, which is really cool. So I will say that these did take a lot longer to get here than most things from Amazon that I've ordered. Uh, it's so weird because I've been ordering a lot from Amazon ever since like this pandemic happened because we just have so much time on our hands that we just shop. Well, I do. And um, some things would get here literally in like three days and I think this honestly took like two months to get here which is a little longer but I am impressed and honestly I would still recommend because they're like super affordable and just like the perfect tank top. All right, I wanna give you guys a little update on my room just so I can get some opinions. So here it is whenever you walk in and I have my mirror right here now. My mirror used to be over here where this tree now is and then obviously the tree used to be there. But I have a mirror here and then also a mirror over here. So since I had the mirror there, I feel like it was just a lot of mirrors kind of all clustered together and it just did not look great. Um, I'm definitely interested in leaving my bed this way. I don't want to move it. I'm really happy with how it is and like the picture there. Um, I'm just not super sure where to put this mirror. And I also don't like have a ton of like walls to put it on either. So I'm just kind of confused. I think I might like it there. But then again, I don't know because I don't know how I feel about this plant here. And honestly, I might just like ditch the plant. We'll see. But I mentioned in my like get tidy video with me that I wanted to put a desk along this wall so I could like edit and also get ready there because I don't like sitting on the floor getting ready. So hold up, why are we blurry? Oh, I think that I found the one I want to get. It's a little pricier though, so I'm gonna see if I can't find maybe another one. But if not, I think I'm gonna pull the plunge on that one. It's like a really pretty like light natural wood desk and it's pretty long too, so that's kind of nice. Um, I'm just kind of worried it might look kind of clustered over here, but if I need to move that then I can do that as well. But the reason I want some natural wood is because this picture frame is natural wood and I just think it'll tie together with a natural wood piece right here. So if you guys have any pointers for me on where to like move things or desk recommendations, then let me know in the comments. I'll really appreciate it because I really want to tie my room together. But yeah, I just don't know how I feel about this tree. I really like the vibe because it's kind of like a palm tree kind of thing. But I definitely know I'm going to keep this plant. It's so cute. And then I'm going to keep this mirror here, I think. Or maybe when I get the desk, I'll take that mirror down and use that mirror on my desk. That might look better. But I don't know. If you guys have any tips, let me know. And I would greatly appreciate it. Also, over here on my dresser, I just have this picture frame. Some vases right here with these flowers that I picked. They're so pretty. And then over here, I used to have magazines over here, but now I just have my plant chill in here and then some jewelry holders. Both of these holders were featured in my Amazon Home Goods haul, so if you guys are interested in those, be sure to check that video out along with this ring light as well. So I like the look over here. I wanted to get some bigger vases to put pompous in and then probably replace the vase with the pompous um, where that uh, frame is. 
but I have yet to find pompous grass that I like um, and a vase. So that's kind of still like in the process, but I'm happy with what it looks like right now. It's like super minimal and just cute. So I have truly just been pretty much useless today. I went and laid out for a little while, but um, mental health is definitely a common theme kind of here over on my channel and I've talked about it in the last two videos and I wanted to tell you guys also if y'all are more interested in it to follow Brittany Kelly on Instagram. Brittany Kelly is a wife of one of the guys from Florida Georgia Line so she's like super well known but she is the whole reason I found um, Love to Pivot like the life coaching that I'm taking um, because she had done an Instagram live over like the quarantine so this was like several months ago and that's how I found out about it and I looked into it and I ended up loving it and I still love it and I'm still doing it obviously but um, I feel like she's just such a good representation of how well life coaching can help somebody and she just talks a lot about it and her experience so if you guys are more interested in about what am i saying <laughs> if you guys are more interested about the mental health that i'm talking to you guys about and the pivot and all of that then i would recommend checking her instagram out because every thursday she goes live with her uh life coach which is Lori jean which is the founder of pivot so um I've been watching a lot of those and it's just like amazing and I think that if you guys are interested then it will help give you guys a better idea of like what it's all about. So check that out. Good morning you guys. It is now Saturday. Sorry I look a little shiny. My moisturizer was like just put on. Um, but I'm hoping to go test drive a few more cars today but I'm like super hesitant because of yesterday and I'm just hoping that my friend Shanice can come with me um, just to kind of like make it a little bit more enjoyable to be honest. So I don't know what is going to happen. She hasn't texted me back yet on if she can come or not, but I'm hoping that she can. And if so, if she comes and I'll probably um, vlog a little bit because like I'm way more confident vlogging in public whenever I have somebody with me. And maybe I'll show you guys the cars I'm test driving. So I really just like want to find a car really soon because my Jeep is just like slowly, well, quickly going downhill. And I honestly just don't feel safe driving it anymore. So hold up. So... I'm like trying to pull the trigger like pretty soon on a car and I'm looking at BMW X5s. I'm looking at one Jeep Grand Cherokee, which is really cute. Um, if I had it my way, I would definitely want to get like a Jeep Wrangler, but just not in the cards for me right now. Um, but yeah, when I say BMW X5, I mean like an older one, by the way, like 2011. So um, that's the plan, hopefully. If she's not able to come, I probably will still go just alone. And these places are actually more like near me, so I feel a lot more comfortable and I like feel like I'm in my element. So we'll see what happens with that. But I definitely just want to get it over with and done so I don't have to worry about my car anymore. It's just, I honestly, every time I have to go run an errand, I hate it because... You guys, whenever I hit my brakes, it sounds like thunder, like no joke. It's just terrifying and I'm scared they're gonna go out soon. So I just think it needs to happen pretty soon. Okay, I'm having a really proud moment because I picked these little flowers off the side of the road the other day and as soon as I picked them, they pretty much flopped over and died. Like they were hanging over and I was still like, whatever, I'm just gonna put them in this vase and see like if anything changes. Not even kidding, the exact same day, they sprouted up and are all happy now. And there are even like new ones sprouting here. And I'm just really proud of myself because I feel like I've mastered being a plant mom. I have my cactus here that has been through hell and back because it completely fell over and everything fell out. And I had to like reconstruct this little globe thing. Now, this guy right here, honestly, couldn't tell you what kind of plant this is. But I know he's kind of like dying. And honestly, what do you guys think? I don't know if I should still keep this in my room or not. I feel like it just doesn't. At least it doesn't go there. Like, I feel like it looked really good when it was over there. But I just don't know if the mirrors look good all clustered together. But also, this guy has gotten so big since I got him. And I'm just really excited about all my plants. And I feel like I'm just doing a really good job of taking care of them. Which just makes me feel very 
happy and proud of myself. So this is huge. Hold on. So I made a whole video about how I got Botox in my chin. Why is my camera never focused? It's really frustrating. Hold on. So I made a video about how I got Botox in my chin. Um, this was like several months ago and it like failed miserably. And I just realized that my smile is like kind of coming back. Also, also sorry I'm whitening my teeth. But hold on. Like it's back I think. And I'm so happy you guys. Like if you haven't seen that video you have to watch it because I swear I'm not exaggerating. Like my smile is like this. Like it was just terrible. And Oh, uh, I'm just so so happy that it's back to normal almost now It still needs like to go down a little bit more, but it's a lot better than what it was So I'm happy about that. All right, you guys I'm coming at you with another thing that I just got in the mail from Amazon That doesn't even say that they've been delivered yet, and it says that they're not coming until like next month So it's super confusing, but They're so cute. It's these sunglasses These were recommended by Julia Havens if you guys don't follow her Please do she is incredible, but these are like super sturdy actually every single pair of sunglasses I have now are from Amazon and they're so affordable and all just like really good quality But these are so in like this style. So it was cool to find a pair that was like Definitely under $20 I want to say and they're like really good quality too. So check them out I'll link them down below for you guys as well. Also, they come in black too Just did my makeup and on yet because I feel like that yikes, so loud. I feel like it starts to kind of look bad after a little while so I'm not gonna put mascara on until I like leave but cute. good morning <laughs> I look crazy I sound crazy so it's now Sunday morning and hold on let me get comfy and situated and I ended up going out with a group of girls last night, which it was so much fun. And I'm so glad that I went because I feel like I don't have like a ton of girlfriends. So it was just really cool to like meet up and hang out with a bunch of girls or whatever. It was super fun. I just sound crazy. And I think I'm going to treat myself to Panera because I feel like Panera is like my go-to hangover food. Like a large macaroni with that loaf of bread. Like please give it to me all the carbs so I'm gonna go there right now and hopefully it just solves all my problems one more thing looking at your bank account whatever the next day is like the worst thing ever I spent 64 hold on was it 64 dun, 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 dun. yeah 64 dollars on a freaking uber like who am I who am I? I act like I just am like living lavish. Oh my god. I got Panera and I'm so happy about it. I'm about to smash. I got a large mac and I'm so excited about it. I guess I've never gotten a large mac and cheese before because this is massive and the piece of bread it came with is huge as well. It's like the size of my freaking face but I'm here for it. I support. <laughs> All right, hello. It's now Monday after work. Oh, I swear, my camera always starts off so blurry, sorry. Um, I'm gonna end the vlog here, but I wanna show you guys one more thing that I got in the mail that I am obsessed with, so let me show you guys. All right, please ignore the mess behind me. My room has like quickly fallen apart, um, but this is what I wanted to show you guys. It's this beautiful bodycon dress in this beautiful like oatmeal color. It's from Windsor and I was inspired to buy this by Julia Havens. Everything she buys is just so me because I love neutrals too. Um, but it has a really nice thickness to it and it's also double lined with this right here. So it's just super good and it's like really holds you in. Also, I really like the neckline. I don't have anything like this in a dress. I'm really excited to pair this with like really cute necklaces. But I'm going to end the vlog here, but I just thought that you guys would like this. And also, I'm pretty sure it just restocked, and it also comes in black. So, check it out. But, like I was saying, I'm going to end the vlog here because it's now the work week for me. And there's just not going to be any content for you guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe.